Life had finally returned to normal after the antics of Dr. Beechin. Now Sodar was at peace, but little did the Cedrians know that a greater threat was coming to harm the railway and potentially the legacy of Sir Topham Hatt. Good morning, engines. Lately, with all the events that have been going on, passengers and freight work have been increasing gradually. Thanks to me and the Express, sir, it has kept things running smoothly. Don't you mean everyone's jobs, Gordon? For once, James, I do agree with you. Gordon is showing off as usual. Oh, the indignity. Either way, engines, we all have important jobs to take care of, and... But then, Mr. Star ran to Sir Topham Hatt with urgent news. Sir Topham, you need to come here right away. It's an emergency. Both ran off as fast as they could. The engines wondered what could be wrong. Meanwhile, Sir Topham had met with Mr. Star and Mr. Zorro, who delivered the bad news to him. Sir, you're not going to like this. An old acquaintance of yours is reportedly still alive. Who would that be? Oh no, it can't be! I'm Peter Sam, I am, I am, I am, Peter Sam, I am, I am. I would be very careful if I were you, Peter Sam. Relax, what could possibly go wrong? You'll see. I wasn't looking where I was going, silly me. Stuart, Falcon, you are needed at the sheds. Mr. Percival wants to see all of us. It's an emergency. What kind of emergency? No time to speak. We must get over there at once. The narrow gauge engines all met with Mr. Percival at the sheds. He was very concerned. I must speak with you all. This is very important. Whatever is the matter, sir. I hope it's nothing serious. Sadly, yes, it is. I don't know what is taking place. But there have been news reports about an old accomplice of Sir Topham. Old accomplice? I wonder who that could be, sir. Must be an old friend or someone. I don't know who this friend is, Rusty. All I know is that I am to meet with Topham and the other controllers this afternoon to discuss who this person is. Till then, continue work as usual. If anything pumps up, let me know at once. We understand, sir. Everyone watched nervously as Mr. Percival made his way to meet with the other controllers. However, Mr. Percival realized something he had not thought of. He remembered someone, or some engine, was missing at the meeting. Hello there. I don't recall seeing you before. You will prove worthy to my masterful plan. <laughs> masterful plan? Ooh, I am so excited! I suggest you wipe that smile off your face before I shut it for you. Now you will help me, um... Whatever your name is. Oh, it doesn't matter. What matters is my plan is that I simply want Fat Hat gone. I want to leave this bloody island with this death in my hands. Now come with me. We have some business to take care of. Owen, it's me, Phil. I have an engine that I believe will prove useful in our mission. Don't disappoint me, Vogestan. This is our chance to rid the island of Sir Topham Hat. I know that you will not fail me. Elsewhere, the railway continued operations as usual. The engines had no issues running their trains on time, but soon the engines were going to be in for a big surprise. Soon, I will be taking over the express duties. Gordon here is too fat to take it at his age. Ah, 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 ah. I heard that, Royal Lancer. Soon you will all realize that we buses will be far superior to your outdated railways. Oh, shut it, Bulgy. Unless you want to be a hen house again. Heck, I would rather see him as a vegetable stand. Oh, with the humiliation. You see, Royal Lancer, we are equally grand. Wanna bet? Last one to the station has to pull good strains for a week. You're on, little brother. Doesn't Scotty call you, little brother? <laughs> oh, the indignity. So, the brothers banter. Yes, I must report to Phil Barkiston at once. What do you have to report, Jasper? The Sudrians are going off on how superior they are. They'll know my triumph will be imminent once I get rid of Fat Hat and... I hate to interrupt. But you must return to my position at once. Understood. You're coming with me. Where are we going, if you don't mind me asking? 
We're going to meet my superior. Well, we're here, and wait, where is your superior? Here I am, little one. Wait, your own Ruth, and quiet, you. There is an engine I would like you to meet. My first creation, shall we say. Hello, Satrian. Diesel 1000, I've heard of you. Silence. I will not tolerate any failures and interferences from you, and... Listen, I found this engine. I think he can be of great use to us. Go on, Bogustan. Has anyone else found things to be... well... odd lately? To be honest, Henry, things have been rather silent. We haven't seen Sir Topham since... Engines? What is the problem, sir? I just had a discussion with Mr. Starr and Mr. Zorro. I unfortunately have terrible news. What would that be, sir? Phil Bogaston has returned. The engines were horrified. But that's impossible. He was killed nearly a year ago at the scrapyard. As was that wretch. Ugh, that tanker was nothing but trouble. At least he went out with a bang. Jokes aside, Percy, I have a worried feeling that Bogaston or his ghost has returned to secret revenge for our triumphant efforts last year. Me and Mickey will investigate to see where Bogaston has been since his demise. We'll be certain to find any clues that could hint at what that ghost is doing. That's good, because the last thing I want to hear is Bogaston destroying the island in one fellow swoop. Has anyone seen Bertram? Not since last night when he rested at the slate quarry. Perhaps he's playing hide and seek, waiting to spook us. More like wanting to spook you, Duncan. Duncan went red in the face with embarrassment. He did not want to be reminded of his own incident with ghosts. But then... Engines, wake up! We have a very serious situation on our hands. Mr. Percival has gone missing. What? Impossible? Don't worry. Joey, Mickey, and their investigation team will get to the bottom of this. I have a worried feeling that it's only the start of something far worse than what we have imagined. What a lovely evening. There's no place like... What the... Got you now, steamer. Who are you? None of your business, that's who. Look, I see your leader. Where? What? Ugh. Wait till I get my hands on you. You failed again, Thickens. Not my fault. And besides, who said you were in charge? Return to headquarters. Me and Phil have a devious idea. Ahoy there, Cranky and Carly. Oh no, do we have to listen to another one of salty stories? Oh. Don't be silly, Cranky. I enjoy listening to a story. Well, it's very late and... Oi! Wait a minute! Come with me! The boss wants to see you! What's all this, me hearties? Oh no, Salty! Oh dear, what are we going to do? Hang on, Salty! I'll save you! That was your idea to save Salty? Dang it, it didn't work. Oh, but I think it will. Meanwhile, Bertram was curious. Say, who else is a part of this special operation? Oh, a few people that you may know. Phil, good news. Those Class 08s got a diesel from the docks and they're making their way back to headquarters. Excellent, Thickens. Return at once. Owen has a plan and we're all in it. As for you, as far as I know, once we're done here, your fate will be determined once we kill Fat Hat. Oh, I can hardly wait. Everyone, I have urgent news. Winston, what the bloody heck? What is going on here? I was almost captured, that's what. By whom? Dickens and his henchmen almost got me after I was passing through the countryside. I thought I rid of that crooked scrum for his crimes a year ago. Well, Diesel, it's either you're going to have to stop him again, or we're going to find a way to stop him for good. Dear, what are we going to do? I have a way we can stop Phil Bogaston and his men. Katrina, for your safety, I suggest hiding in the shed until it's all over. You will, I promise you. At Rickerstown Sheds, various engines were talking about everything that had been going on in the past few days. That Bogaston is insane. He better not come for me, after all. I was rescued from scrap a long time ago. I witnessed what he did. Don't you mean we, Harry? After all, he captured the both of us and Gordon at the scrapyards a year ago. Oh, fair point. Now, we cannot worry. Yes, this is a serious situation. 
but we can't get uptight about this and... Agreed, City Aturo. These vital things have to be dealt with before we get on the chopping block. Now don't be silly, Croven. It's only been several days and there's been no real action! Does that sound like action? Quick, we must leave at once. Wait, where's Perry? Aha! I've got you now, Steamy. That voice... It sounds like... Oh god, no, it can't be! Diesel Sam will not like this. By the way, another steam engine that will meet the smelting pot. Oh no, not again. Quiet, you! Owen, what is the next phase? I have marked several locations for you and your men to cause confusion and delay. Follow my exact instructions, and once this is finished, then you will have millions in riches. Then it's a deal. Just be glad you were brought back for this in the first place. Oh my, this weather is sure beautiful out here. It would be more beautiful if there wasn't any confusion. Says the one who said that railways were no good. Oh, stop, Bertie. That was years ago. Wait a minute. What's happened to Caroline? Help! Someone! Anyone! Silence. You're coming with us. Bertie, help me! Don't worry, Caroline. I'll save you. You were saying? George, you're not helping. In all seriousness, Caroline needs our help. Fine work, Thickens. You and your men have proven to be very useful. Oh, shut up, you rude diesel. Silence. Thickens, come with me. Phil wants to see us. What do you want, Phil? Thanks to Owen, we were able to track our next target. A coal train dust with a barrow being pulled by a this... E2. It's clearly not the number one blue tank engine. I don't know, but the point is one of your men will be positioned at this spot on the island. Our intent is to capture the tank engine by disabling its water tanks. Once he is out of puff, we swoop in and take him in. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Trust me, this plan will work. We just need to time everything perfectly. Come on, let's get moving. Ah, what a lovely day. It won't be for long, Tank Engine. What could possibly go wrong on a day like this? Oh shoot, I have to get out of here! Don't stop firing until we get that engine! Come on, come on! Oh bother! Bullseye! Come on, wheels, turn faster, I have to get out of here! Come on, these trucks are as heavy as a sack of bricks. Uh-oh. Quit alive! We're only train incoming! Come on, come on! Oh, scrap. Keep firing it. Oh shit, everyone duck! Nothing like a lovely little stroll down the road. Ow! That's another hole in the... Uh -oh. Men, retreat before we get spotted. Ugh, Owen won't like this. Brandon, are you okay? Brandon? Brandon! Oh dear, I'll get help. And I'll get the breakdown train. Golly! That was intense. Are you okay, Jeremy? I am, but Brandon is a huge concert. Those tinkers should have been scrapped ages ago. We think an old coupling was the cause of the runaway. We'll also look around this area to see if we can find any more clues. Engines, I have very sad news about Brandon. Yes, he has been taken to the works. However, if the workmen are unable to repair him, he may have to be scrapped. But sir! You've been able to fix engines in the past. Brandon is one of my siblings. I don't want to experience the same pain like I had to experience with Timothy. I understand, Thomas, but we must be realistic about this. The incident wasn't Jeremy's fault. However, the fuel tankers are being looked over for any possible clues. I wouldn't be surprised if Bogerson was behind all of this. You say what now? No joke. We saw your evil brother. But that's impossible! I destroyed him! You did, but somehow he's been brought back to life. Didn't have a couple minions as well. Oh god, oh no. We have to stop them again? I thought we killed those lunatics. Sadly, Sadly Splodge, Splodge, we will have to, we do, will it have to do it again. This time, and this we, will time make we will make certain that they're truly, that they're truly destroyed, destroyed this time. Oh no. What's wrong, Turo? It's Braden. He had a terrible accident with a load of fuel tankers, and if he's not mended in time, then he'll be scrapped within a few days. Poor engine. Is there a way to save Brandon? 
I don't know. I worry we might not be able to. Never say never. When there's a will, there's a way. You're right, Hero. What I'm saying is that we must work together to save Brandon and our friends. I better make what my way. I hope I don't run into trouble. Trouble comes around the corner at any moment. Not you again! Sorry, but your driver is indisposed at the moment. Brandon, are you alright? Sir, I don't know if I can make it. Brandon, I know you'll pull through. Men, please try to repair Brandon. I cannot have any further delays. Sir, we have trouble. Jay, what is the problem? It's Mavis, sir. She was... Erm... Kidnapped. What? By who? You won't like it, sir. He's back. That treacherous Bogaston! He won't get away with this. Jay, take me to the sheds. We must stop him once and for all! You failed me. It's not our fault, Your Honor. A line of tankers collided with our captive target and... Enough! Place the diesel over there. Under where? Enough with the games, Thickens. Place her over there. There, there. You will prove to be a valuable asset in my master plan. You won't get away with this! Oh, but I will, especially with my allies, of course. My rise will be imminent, and the surgeons will all pay for all of their crimes. Especially Splodge. What do they have to do with this? That does not matter right now. What matters is the final steps are near. And there is nothing you could do to stop me or my alliance. Bertram, report. I am in position, sir. Good. Make sure to follow through with the plan. Wonderful, Bertram. Now whatever you do, don't blow my cover. Not until we're in position. Fat hat owes me big time. Jay puffed as fast as his wheels would carry him. Soon they arrived at the sheds where the remaining engines were waiting. Engines, we have a serious situation on our hands. Mavis has been kidnapped, as have some of the others. Um, sir, you may want to take a look at this. Come here, steam kettle! Oh no, Donald got kidnapped! Now what are we going to do? Our friends are in grave danger, sir. I realize that. I am trying to think of some way to end this. Sir, you're needed urgently. What is it, Nigel? There's a problem over at Bickerstown. Right. On my way. I am so clever. Perfect, thank you. Now, once he enters the coach, act innocent and don't say anything till you return. Understood? Understood. Now, what could be going on at Bickerstown? Wait a minute. What happened to the windows? And who's pulling the train? Mr. Zorro never told me who was pulling this coach. We have arrived at your final destination, Fat Hat. But you were destroyed. And here we are once again, Fat Hat. Face to face once again. <laughs> Is it just me, or has Sir Topham Hat gotten, well... Invisible nonsense. If he did, he would have told us what the problem might have been. We know who started the problem, but now we're trying to put the pieces together. Well, in that case, we must... Oh, I forgot. Starfield Bogaston? That's who? Yes, that's who. And the others, of course. I'm worried now. Our controller has not returned. It's been several hours. It is concerning. I hope he did not get captured like the others did. But deep down, Rebecca unknowingly was right. It can't be. Phil Bogaston. But you were destroyed. Diesel 10 made sure of it! You didn't make sure of it. I made sure I survived the explosion after my death. How though? Let's just say a little magic goes a long way. Owen Ruth, my former advisor to the railway board. I knew I couldn't trust you. Not after Diesel 1000 was brought to my railway. He was my greatest creation. That I am master. He may be your creation, but that does not mean capturing engines for no reason. There is a clear reason why we are doing this, Topham. Simply, it was a bargaining offer. Oh, and if you're wondering about your precious engines... Mr. Percival! Fitkins did very well, as did the others. You will be rewarded greatly once we get fat. 
Stop him? You have to do something. You can't just stand there. I may be the controller of Solo, but this is an outrage. How dare you capture various engines and lure me into your trap? Ah, well, this is where the fun truly begins. What do you mean? Here's a hint, fat man. Jasper Fitzgerald. You return to my railway once again. When in fact I made it clear five years ago, you are not invited back to my railway for your antics with the Decepticons. They're not here this time. And I have made a new alliance. Enough bickering. Now it's time to lure the rest of those steam antiques to their resting place. And how are you going to do that, Bill? Trust me, Owen. A little bargain can go a long way. Where is Sir Topham Hat? He should have been here by now. It's most likely he could have been delayed by... Well... Something. Maybe he could have found another Top Hat. What it's in his name. Easy, Rebecca. It's all good, my friend. I've received a transmission. I'm afraid it's not a pleasant one. This is a message for, well, whoever's in charge of Soda now because your worthy fat hat, I'm, uh, I mean, Sir Topham Hat, is in our possession. Me and our minions have several engines and the other controller that is with them. Here is our simple request. Only one of you, and I mean only one of you, will come to our headquarters with the following requests. You will bring the contractual rights to the island, so, uh, I mean my supervisor, Owen Roof can become controller. You will bring the contract with no involvement with the engines or any of those sentient beings. You have till 8 o'clock. If you do not comply, we will start destroying our captives one by one. I hope we can come to negotiatable compromise out of this, like I said. You have till 8 o'clock. Don't try us or we will take serious action. Negotiable compromise? What utter rubbish! Calm down, John. We can figure this out. And have Sir Topham killed? We need to come up with a plan. Leave it to us! What are you going to do, Diesel 10? We cannot risk our lives for this. Because me and Splodge know them well. You're right, Diesel 10. We have to do something. What's the status of Brandon, by the way? I don't know. I hope he pulls through. At least it would involve Dr. Peaching. We're going to have to go invisible on those jokers. They're more than just jokers, Merlin. Well, this is no joke. We must come up with a plan at once. Not too loud, we may scare Bumble's tumble before we can rescue our friends. All right, settle down. Now, we must come up with a way to stop Bill Boggeston before he and his team prevail. It's quite simple, Mr. Star. We hand over the fake contract and our friends will be released. It won't make a difference. They will kill me and the others on the spot the moment I hand over the contract. Leave it to us. We'll be the secret protection until the mission is complete. We will need someone to find... We'll be the secret protection until the mission is complete. We will need someone to find where our friends are being held. I have detected where Ruth, Boggeson, and the others are. They are many men, and it's heavily guarded. Proceed with caution, Mr. Star. What about the others? Unknown. But it will get dicey. We also found another clue to the puzzle. This wayward coach was found in a siding not too far down the line. I mean no harm. Honest. I know that coach. It's Rolly. He used to be a part of the Northwestern before he was forgotten about. Rolly told us some dark details about his relationship with his former owner. Owen Ruth wanted power. That's why he's doing this. I sensed it from the moment I was left to rest in that siding, but after you saved me from Diesel 1000, I realized there was more to his plot than what we knew. In that case, we have to save our friends. So that's the plan then. Here is the fake contract. Okay. Here is the following teams. Splodge, you, Thomas, and some of the others are with me. And Mr. Star, team two, will head down Edwards Branch Line. Teams three, four, and five will head to their respective routes. Everyone got it? It's now or never, Sudrians. For Dunny! For Topham! For Sodor! Okay, we have arrived. We'll be waiting here in case there's any issue. Likewise. Glad to see you have arrived safely. Alright. As soon as the right moment hits, we will save Caroline. Well, what am I supposed to do? Shh. We will charge in, get in, and get out. You made sense, but... Now! Go, Bertie! I will shield you both till you're clear. Fine work, you two. 
Now, but our work has only just begun. You won't get away, Vitis. You say that just to grind my gears. Seems you're not the only one that pisses others off. Okay, here's the plan. We'll distract Vlad and his men, while you, Donald, go in and rescue your brother. Then you two will provide cover while Donald goes in. Well, we didn't sign up for this. Seriously? We're dealing with something way worse than last time. Well, we were the ones that needed to be rescued. More or less us having to rescue ourselves. Enough. We must save our friends. Let's not blow our cover. Are we going to bicker or what? Because right now we have to. Go, go, go! What's that? I got there, brother. Plus one bugger stem before it's too late. He's getting away. Not this time, you won't. Not again. Not again. Not again. We did it. Great job, that show with them. That's Best our part be going done. Before it's now too we late. have to pray the others will pull through. Any sign? Well, no, darling, but I am highly sprung, and the situation will make it bad for my swerves if you don't shut up. Now, Daisy, I don't mean to be rude, but we're dealing with a volatile situation. No arguing, please. We're nearly there. And look, there they are. I don't believe it. Quick, now's our chance. Let's save our friends. All right, here is the contractual rights. I give you the rights and you release the engines. Before you do so, prove you and the others are not equipped. Our pockets are all empty as you asked. Now just give us the bloody thing so we can be on our way. All right, here they are. Ah yes, as requested. Now release the engines and the others immediately. Oh, I won't do such thing as a matter of fact. Their time has already come. Get over there, Mr. Star. So long, you lot. Oh lord, they set the building on fire! My plan is coming along nicely. Not long for long, it won't. I'll inform my superior. <sighs> this is not over yet. <sighs> well, I'm afraid like last time, it is over for real. Sunny Jim. Well done! Now let's go and save the remaining engines and controllers. Find an exit at once! We're surrounded! There's no way out! Ugh. Brandon. Lady, what are you doing here? I, I thought... Shh! Shh! It's all right, Brandon. I will be scrapped most likely by week's end. And most of the others are risking their boilers to save Sodor. What can I do at this point? Well, there is something you can do with the little gift that you have earned for all that you have done. We made it! Oh no, we're too late! Jasper Fitzgerald, show yourself! Ah, Diesel 10, we meet again. What do you have to do with all of this? Simply revenge. After I was sent away, I was furious, enraged, and so I made alliances with the likes of the Decepticons, Charleston, and even Reginald. Even after the last battle, I hid far away on the mainland. It was only when Ronis, Twitch, and Thrash revived. The alliance was made with them, and after the four of us joined Owen Ruth, we have became a dominant force ever since. That doesn't explain about Diesel 1000! After Diesel 1000 was sent to Railgate, he was forgotten about. After the other Diesels escaped. So I heard about this and made my way to Railgate, where my sweet talking allowed me to reclaim my greatest creation. Ever wondered why I'm named the Spider Diesel? Well, a long time ago, I was created along with my brothers and sisters. Sadly, over time, during their development, they became failures, obsolete, and all of us scrapped except one. That being you, of course. My master was kind enough to try to find the problem. Turns out that it was a combination of the diesel engine and the efficiency rate being poor. So I was taken apart, customized, rebuilt, and once I was completed, my efficient rate was superior. 
I could shunt and take trains with no problem. My ability to articulate my bogey made it so I move like a spider. It was merely a bonus feature added so my efficiency could be superior to any engine, especially any other diesel. I thought Bowler was the one who was vain about his standards. Silence! Your precious friends are dying one by one in that fiery inferno. One more in your turn. You're dead. All of you. Say farewell to the last of kind. Not if I can help it. Brandon, you've changed. You look like Murdoch now. Charlie, don't let them enter the building. We meet again, Diesel 10. I don't know how you or your minions were brought back. But one thing's for certain, you're going down. Same here. Don't try anything foolish. Wait, where did Brandon go? I am going to save our friends. Hold them off till the mission is completed. So, we meet again, tank engine. What the? You're different. Yes, I am. No wonder they call you wretch. Stop bantering and get us out of here. Owen, oh, come with me. We'll blow that building up. An excellent plan, Diesel. Come with us. We're going to make sure Dapper is destroyed. Help us in any way possible. I don't know how long we have left. Leave it to me, Mavis. Teleport with this supply of gold dust. What about you, Brandon? You can't stay here to be well. Barry, I got this. If I die, tell Katrina I love her and we'll look forward to seeing her in the afterlife. So, Topham, we meet face to face. We will settle this like men, just as you said we would a year ago. Bring it, fat hat. Shunt the wretch out of here before it's too late. With pleasure, Master. Brandon, do something. We're running out of time. Time is against you, Topham. Besides, this is suitable for your final resting place. And wait, where are the others we catch up in now? They're gone. You see, Bargason? Magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. Curse you and your magic. Quickly, we must hurry. What about our plan? It's too late. Now we ought to destroy our captors another way. Don't worry. I will make certain our captors are destroyed. Wait, traitor! What are you doing? I have no use left. Neither do you. No. No, no, no! He destroyed the building. Owen Rath was on board. That means he is dead. We can confirm that, in fact, Owen Ruth is dead. And Diesel 1000, too, I assume. J Jasper just... He, he just... He redeemed himself after all these years. Perhaps that was Jasper's way of forgiving you both for what happened in the 60s. Although he was not one of the nicer Diesels to have worked on my railway, he showed... He was one of the bravest. Wait, where's Brandon? Here I am. Uh, Brandon, you have changed, but you now are the same basis as Murdoch, and your old form at the same time? But how? Thanks to a little magic, it went a long way. In any case, I'm glad we had to do what had to be done. Oh, Phil Bogaston too is deceased. And to think he did this over fuel, that's a little more than crying over spilled milk. Quite. The mess was quickly cleaned up, thanks to my magic, of course, and soon the island was back to normal. The other three diesels have been sent back to Railgate. This time they won't be leaving there any time soon. And this time we'll make sure of it. At least those three are locked up for a long time. Yeah, what about Reginald? Did Jasper mention something about him? Unfortunately, after 9462 freed himself from Railgate, Reginald too also escaped. 
Well, we do not know. Only that we are going to investigate the matter and bring Reginald to justice. Engines of Sodor. We had a wild last several days. One of my own was nearly scrapped. But thanks to magic, he was reformatted. And is better than ever. Owen Root's tyranny will no longer be a threat to Sodor, thanks to a diesel sacrifice that put a stop to him and his engine's wrath. But know this, Sudrians. This will make us stronger and better than ever, going forward because, as controller of the Northwestern Railway, we will overcome any challenge, rain, snow, or shine. Three cheers for Sir Topham Hatt! Now, on with the preparations. In no time, Soda ran like clockwork. The engines were running like never before. My goodness, I'm glad I'm plowing my field again. After all that action. I totally agree with you, Terrence. I totally agree. Terrence smiled as he went about his work. I was making my way through the countryside. The sun sparkled as I passed by with an express train. I reflected on the many events that happened knowing that if it were not for Lady, I would have been scrapped. I know that it must be a responsible, reliable, and really useful engine now that I am a magical engine. I must use it with a great power, as this will be a great responsibility. But in the days after our triumph, an engine was on the run. Reports surfaced that a small diesel structure had ran away from the other railway to Sodor in hopes of finding a safe haven. But that is a story for another day. 